one of the things that I'm discovering, you know, is working with business owners is, you know, asking them to identify the emotion and what is the memory that's associated with that emotion. And when they start doing that, there seems to be some sort of unraveling that takes place for themselves as well as the other people where there's no advice, there's no leading, there's nothing. And then from there, there is a nat now I'm from what you just said, it's kind of becoming clear for me that what that process does is ultimately gets them to identify what's the very next action they can take. Mm -hmm. And once they've got that clarity, that emotion, the negative emotion, the charge dissipates. Sure. The situation still remains the way it is, but then they move forward from there. Exactly. So I think that's the, the, uh, the, the missing. Yeah, what my process, the getting things done process, doesn't really deal with the emotional things directly. Right. It has a huge emotional impact, to yes. your point, yes. once you get a lot clearer about that. Interestingly, right. uh, we have a, a partner now uh, delivering our work in South Africa, and he is a practicing psychotherapist and psychologist, uh, as well as now a GDD trainer. And so I asked him, I said, so tell me about the relationship that you see between therapy and getting things done. He said, well, therapy often addresses things that getting things done doesn't address directly. He said, but once people start to practice the getting things done methodology, it makes it them much clearer about what their issue really is. Right. Because a lot of people, one negative thing that you're not appropriately engaged with can color your whole life gray, especially if it's an important area. You'll, you'll, your whole life will feel confusing and overwhelming if, if you've you know, got a major financial problem or right. a major relationship problem or a major any kind of problem makes the, your whole life feel like a problem. As opposed to that's that specific thing and it allows us to be able to identify that and isolate what that thing is and how to engage with it. So it was interesting to hear uh, from William, my guy in South Africa, that uh, he found it, if you haven't done this getting things done, clear your head kind of process, then people are so unclear about what's unclear for them. And it makes it much more difficult to pinpoint what are those emotions about what, you know, and where does that come from.